Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Boy, oh boy, do I have a lot to update you about and just life things to talk about. We're gonna just dive right on in to the makeup. I have some new things to try. We're gonna be playing with some new MAC whatnot. I have a new Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and just some odds and ends that I wanna intermingle in this chit chatty get ready with me where we're gonna talk all things trial because I got the date for our trial today. It's all I've been thinking about. So I wanna chit chat a little bit about that. And then just some beauty mishaps that have been top of mind recently that I thought would be kind of interesting to expose myself on. Oh, I'm just in a mood to chat. I changed up the lighting in the studio. I've been cleaning in here, adjusting things in here. Let me know if you like this more dialed down, like it's not as bright. I'm curious to see how it will turn out. I feel so together and so ready to play with makeup and not be distracted. So, whoa, I'm having some legit deja vu. This has happened like five times in the past week. That's so trippy when that happens. Um, my brain. Okay, where do we start? I'm just gonna go back into this guy. This is just like tried and true. This is the Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. I've got a couple of pumps here, putting it on just like a moisturizer. And we're gonna go into a couple of updates. As always, I will list in the description box things like my nail polish is Odin's Eye, this is Dark Horse. I'm not working with them, but man oh man, do I keep painting my nails with their polish because it's so beautiful. It's like in the top five of brands that I'm reaching for right now. Love it so much. Jewelry, Alexis Bittar, Kendra Scott, Kendra Scott, and then Kendra Scott, and then gifty kind of things that I've had forever. And um, the tank top is Majestic Paris that I got at Neiman Marcus literally like five years ago, but I was surprised today I wanted to order another one and it's still available on their site. It's just like a basic that is so amazing. And I have washed this thing I kid you not, a hundred times. Like this is my favorite black tank top. It's expensive, but whatever they did with this material, it does not pill and like you cannot destroy it, which makes me feel like it's worth the money in a weird way. Uh, let's go in with a little Tarte Smoothing Primer. I do wanna share with you guys that I have kind of a special treat for you. I usually upload every Monday and Thursday. I will not be uploading on Thursday. You will see a fresh new video from me on Wednesday. So make sure you are subscribed, ring the bell, so your notifications are on and come back and hang out with me on Wednesday. So just in a couple days. Additionally, we are going to have an amazing Black Friday deal for Halo Beauty. Make sure you are on the email list. I'll have that in the description box below and that email will be going out on Wednesday. Let's now hop in to new makeup. I have the new MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen Crayon Corrector. This is a do-it-all pen. It is long wear, medium to full buildable coverage, flexible natural matte, love that. Has some caffeine, yes. Hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, water and transfer proof. Now, when I bought this, I immediately was like, this is a foundation because of the bottle and it was kind of an impulse grab and I was reading about it online more and this is a concealer, but really you could use it under the eyes. You can use it to spot conceal. You could use it all over the face, which is what I'm gonna attempt to do today. So I guess you could just like dot and conceal like this. Is this too light for me? Mm. That was NC30. We're gonna go into NC35. I think that's better. One or two. One or two. The most stressful uh, decision making ever. Me at the eye doctor. Like, I want to cheat on the eye doctor test for some unknown reason. Like, you're like, yeah, I can make that out. I can kind of see it. That's probably the worst place ever to not be like full honest. This is actually quite nice. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of layer on the concealer here and then go in, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I have a plan? No. Mm, I don't know how people spot conceal. Like it just never works out for me. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play mix a mix and match. I actually wanna put both of these together. Pump a you, pump a you. 
And I'm gonna use this as foundation because I love to do what I want with my makeup and you can. And if you needed permission from someone, well, there you go. Do what you want with your makeup. It's your face. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this HD Skin from Makeup Forever. I was going through my concealers and I'm like, I've been neglecting you. You are such a thin, beautiful, full coverage formula. Let's, let's kind of revisit, you know? Let's talk about trial. <sighs> Literally, I mentioned trial and like my whole body, like my blood pressure and everything like goes, like this, it's just like, it's just such a fast thing that turns on. We got the dates today for trial. I can't even believe this is my life. I feel like I'm living a dream and not a particularly good one. I'm just someone that tends to laugh at really inappropriate situations. And I guess that's all I can do at this point. You know, like this is happening. And as much as I'm like, yeah, like we're doing this and we're fighting for the truth and I am fighting for what I believe in, it still is kind of like, whoa, like, is this really happening? Like, I don't know that I like fully understood everything that would go into this and what would happen and what will happen because it's a lot, you guys. Oh my gosh. I did not know the public can show up to these things. So I'm now having a new vision where I'm like on the stand being questioned and like people are there, right? Like it's like such a weird feeling. And then I have this like daydream nightmare that like drama channels show up and like cover it. And like it is getting out of control in my brain. So the trial is set to start somewhere between March 11th and April 12th. It is anticipated to take around two weeks. So I am gonna have to set up shop in Vegas for two weeks and film my YouTube stuff from Vegas if I wanna stay current with it and be doing the whole trial. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, like what? I have an overactive imagination and I am just seeing like the whole thing. Like, will there be a sketch artist? Should I start figuring out what to wear now? Do I need a stylist? Do I need to figure things out like that particularly? Like how many people are gonna see this happen? Is this gonna turn into a big thing? Is it gonna be under the radar? How would I not talk about it? That would be impossible because like this is my life and it's happening. And this is now over three years in. Oh my gosh. So I don't know the exact dates because what they do is called a five week stack and your trial is within that time frame. So I'm kind of just, I don't know. It just feels like honestly waiting to be pushed off an edge or like I'm on like the ledge of a high dive and I'm just like standing there waiting to like, just, just like to get on with it but I am excited to get this behind me. You guys know that. I have not been able to really share much. I would like to, but not yet. The MAC face product is nice. I chose to use it as foundation. You could use this a variety of different ways. Um, it does oxidize a little bit, but I like how it looks on the skin and how it feels. I'm not gonna go in with a little Givenchy. You know, the last thing I'll say about everything going down the trial, the trial, the trial. It's fascinating listening to depositions. You learn a lot. They have been spicy. There have been things revealed that I wouldn't otherwise know about. It's a lot of going back in a time machine a little bit, like back in memory lane, which is so tough. Like this is the one thing I will say about going through what I've gone through. Impossible to move on right now. And what I mean by that is I literally have to painfully comb through details of my life that I don't want to comb through. I don't want to comb through 2019. I don't want to put that under a microscope. I don't want to go back into every little bad event of my life, but you have to, and you kind of have to face the music and look at different 
parts of your life that you might not want to look at that therapists or mental health professionals might advise like, hey, don't get stuck in the rear view mirror. Don't stay back there. But when you're in something like this, you're kind of like forced. You're literally forced to look at your life in such an unusual way. And there are days where I feel like I'm not handling this well. There are nights where I'm like crying, like my eyes out, like over so much grief of just like things I wish I could do differently, choices I wish I, like it's the big regret pile. And I have to like try to set it down and try to set it down while simultaneously being pointed to go look at something. So that's really, really terrible to go through. And I don't wanna bring that to my channel. Like I really am making it, I'm making it a choice to show up and do what I do with makeup and not like just cry. Um, so I cry in my private time and I've definitely shed quite a few tears and you can see it sometimes and I can see it when I watch videos where I'm like, your eyes look so sad. And it's like, because I'm being forced to look at things I don't wanna look at. I don't wanna be in this fight. I really could do without it. I've been writing a lot that has been very therapeutic. You know, there's a huge story here. There are lessons from every side. Um, everyone's kind of going through it. It is messy. It is embarrassing. This is nothing that I'm like, I'm so proud that I'm so strong. Like, no, uh, this is not anything I ever anticipated being involved in. The time it's taken, the money it's taken, you know, flat honest, I don't think I'll have kids because of this. And I have to kind of deal with that. Like, that's just a harsh reality. But I do have the kind of faith that is telling me, don't stay stuck. There is something good that can come from this. And there's something good that can come from any situation, no matter how terrible it is. And so if you're going through a hard time right now, just know it doesn't stay like this forever. And if you got through the crap in your past, you're gonna get through whatever you're going through right now. I tell myself that all of the time because some of my biggest breakthroughs have happened out of my life falling apart. Literally YouTube happened out of my life falling apart entirely. Like the whole thing, shoom, like that kind of a moment. And I had no direction in my life. I had nothing, like nothing. And I followed my passion. No matter what people said to me, I was gonna do it. And ultimately here we are. It's a beautiful story. I'm so grateful for how my path directed me here. And this has been the greatest adventure despite like all the BS, you know? And I've made so many mistakes. Like despite all the BS, I'm still so happy that I get to do this for a job and I hope to have this job for the rest of my life. Like I love this. Um, would I like to be a little more joyful and not like, ah, oh, like, you know, cause that energy can kind of come through the camera, all this behind the scenes junk. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for that, but I'm not there yet. March, March. Seems like a really long ways away, but also like it's time to like get it together. And I'm gonna kind of like boot camp myself to really up the stakes when it comes to things like my workout routine and my diet, because I want to be in peak health when I am going into that courtroom. I want my mind to be just like fully on engaged and focused and healthy and rested and for my body to feel strong. So I am in like pre-trial, boot camp, if you will. That's kind of what I'm gonna call it. This is a look, right? I don't know what I did with my bake today, but I look freaking crazy. Okay, we're gonna go in with a little Natasha Denona center of the lip first. This is in Peony, I think. Yes, I'm feeling like a pink vibe for the lips. I'm then gonna go in with Gaia. Is that really the name of this lip pencil? Is it Gaia? Is that really it? Mother Earth. Okay, let's do this. Oh, my my nose is kind of pilling. The foundation's lifting off the nose, which drives me bananas when it does that. Okay, we're gonna go in and darken up the edge of the lip. This is still nice and pinky though. I'm gonna take a little Laneige with a lip brush, shine this up, kind of blend them together.
I feel like all the filler is out of my lips finally. All of a sudden I have an itch to go and get them done and someone needs to like take my phone and be like, stop, do not do that. But part of me is like, come on, I could find someone good. But also I worked so hard to get everything to like drain out of my face, you know what I'm saying? Um, speaking of which, so in my boot camp to get ready for trial and just life improvement in general, I wanna share with you guys, cause a couple people have, actually more than a couple people have DM'd me. We're gonna be playing with these Clio palettes today. I'm actually gonna use this palette for my brows as well. I'm gonna go into this lighter shade up here. So you guys are like, are you still doing carnivore? I am to a degree, but I wanna share with you all that your superpower in life is knowing yourself and not listening to all the hype over every which way that you should be living your life. You are the authority of your choices. And if you go into any medical literature, there are gonna be two sides. Usually they're funded by people that have some type of a motive that kind of cancel out each other. And it's like, this way is best. No, that way is best. And I admit, sometimes I go down those tunnels a little bit too far. And then it's like, Oh my gosh, everything is bad. So I was doing exclusively like high, high protein, red, red meat, eggs, a lot of like raw dairy, doing a lot of butter and living my best. And then a lot of people had negative things to say about it. And it kind of got to my head. And so I backed off it a little bit and it was fine for a minute. And then I like really backed off of it. And I lost so much muscle that I had built. I'm now reevaluating and I even like removed collagen protein from my diet because I had read a study that like it's doing nothing for you anyway. And it's funny that when you look in the mirror, if you know yourself well enough, you know how you feel, you know what you look like, you can kind of assess like, oh, I removed that like a month ago and my skin looks weird or I stopped eating eggs every morning and like my muscles are not as tight and I'm losing weight or whatever. So I kind of let everybody else's opinions get to me and no more. I'm gonna do what feels good for my body and kind of up my protein intake and get back to heavier weightlifting because that was just feeling really, really good to me. When you are in your 40s, it is harder to build that muscle. You really have to be diligent and put that effort in. And so I'm kind of mad at myself that I like let go. And I'm like, you know what? I could eat a little more plant-based. Like, let's just do like some bagels and pizza and a little more vegetables, which for me, my body freaking hates most vegetables. I get gassy and bloated, TMI, whatever. Like dark leafy greens where people are like, eat kale, it's so good for you. Like my stomach is like, no, absolutely. Absolutely not. And it tastes like nasty dirt. Like, why are you doing this? Food should hold some pleasure. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of going back on my higher protein and hopefully it will improve my muscles and my skin. And as far as Halo goes, I am going on a more intense regime, a more intense daily dose. I was just doing Sakura. I'm now gonna do Sakura and Kiwi and just kind of see if I can really improve myself over uh, the next couple of holiday months because the timing to do this could not be better, right? But I'm like that. When I make a decision, I go for it. Like it takes me sometimes a long time to get to the decision, but if I'm like, all in, watch out. There is nothing that will stop me. It's just my personality. So as I'm filling in my brows also, you guys, I decided to try and trim my own brows and that was the dumbest move. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? And now my brows, I kid you not, they are not behaving. I can't brush them up all the way. They are harder to do than ever. I might need to go and seek professional help. I don't know what to do. I like cut out a little divot here and I tried to use like my Urban Decay, like the pen where you can kind of really make those strokes that look hair-like and realistic. And in the video where I was like, I look like Burton Ernie, which one was this? The holiday palettes that I love that video, I'll link it below. Oh my gosh, all I could see with the footage in that video, I was like, what have you done to your brows? Like, what are you, do what are you doing? You are like makeup professional, what are you doing? And it was just one of those days where I was like, well, the damage is done. Like that ink is on there. There is no turning back. Like we're just gonna finish this. And it was just the worst brow day ever. So I'm trying to figure out the brows, trying to figure out the skin. And then the other mishap, do I wanna share this? Do I? Let's talk about nose hair because you know what? When you do this business and you pull that 4K camera, all the way up here and you see everything. 
let me tell you. I'm like, maybe I should go and get my nose waxed. Um, plucking a nose hair is likely the most painful thing you can do to the face. I don't really know why, but uh, anyway, I don't want hairs coming out of my nose. But then I have this flashback. James went a long way back. He went and got his nose waxed because they do that. Like they put them on popsicle sticks and they'll like put the wax up your nose and then like three, two, one and like, yeah. They put one in, they did it, they did the other one and the girl goes to like rip it out and I kid you not, his whole head was like, Hah! like that. It was stuck. Half of the hairs kind of came out, but they were like stuck on the wax and like, uh, like, you know, now when anything waxing wise, in my brain, I'm like, this could go bad. Like this could, go, like it could go bad. You know what I'm saying? Brave and bold comment section. Have you ever done that? Have you done that? I don't know. Maybe that's like the weirdest thing to share online, but uh, I don't want hair on my body. I've shared that before. Like, ugh. Don't really want it up my nose either. Um, okay, so let's just segue into eyeshadow. This video is hilarious. We're gonna go into the shade Autumn Maple and I'm gonna use my Surratt Beauty really expensive crease brush. I have not used this in years. I will never part with it. It's like a lovely part of my collection and history of doing beauty videos. And I want something that is going to go in the crease and just give me a whisper. I'm not looking for the loud crease. I'm looking for a whisper of blended color where it's like, you got you got yourself together today, but like, is that makeup? Maybe. And in an interesting change of events, I suddenly am wanting to finish the face. So let's just go in a little down the nose with a little Patrick Ta. So pre-trial, what I'm doing to get my like A game together is I'm fixing my sleep schedule. I am removing processed sugar from my diet. I am adding back in more protein, more weightlifting, and I'm gonna get rid of this freaking melasma scarring situation on my face that drives me nuts every time I do my makeup. And literally, I know it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it kind of makes doing makeup just not as fun. So I am gonna address that as well. And of course I'll document it. I just feel my best when I'm doing all those things. Like that's the other thing too. For me, it's not about denying myself. It's not about like, oh, I need to be on a diet. I need to look a certain way or I need to lose weight or whatever it may be. Like I like how I feel. I like how I feel when I'm in a good mood. My hormones are steady. We're feeling like good about life and joy is surging through my body. I'm sleeping well. I'm engaging with people because I can tell when I am crashed out on all the wrong things. I don't feel like picking up the phone and calling family. I retreat into myself too much. I sleep too much. I don't want to do my work. I'm not enthusiastic about things that I know I love. So that's always like a sign to me of like, hey, do you really want plate of cookies and potato chips or to thrive in life and have a clear mind and feel motivated? So that's more of what it is for me personally than like how I look. So now what I wanna do is take a more detailed brush. I'm gonna go in with this What's Up Beauty R108 and I'm going to go into the shade that I used on my brows and just tap in, bang off that excess and just kind of go along the lash line a little bit here, a little up into the crease. I'm doing the like, I don't wanna look like I'm wearing a ton of shadow today look. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite browns. This is Loon and Aster Dawn to Dusk Gel Eyeliner in Copper, but it's not overly metallic. When it says copper, it's more like this really rich, beautiful brown. We're gonna blend this in. I am gonna go in with a Rose and Ben. What number are you? E26. And I'm just gonna make sure that that is pressed into those lashes. And I'm gonna kind of take a little bit of the excess and go in the inner corner. I forgot how quickly that liner dries. You have to work so fast. I'm 
All right, looking good. I'm gonna take just a tiny bit, not even with my finger. I'm gonna go just with a clean brush. This is a What's Up Beauty R103. This is a crease brush, but I just want a little glimmer. I'm just gonna pick up with the side of the brush here and just kind of lightly disperse it on the lid above where I put that liner. Best purchase ever, by the way, from the Dollar Tree. If you guys have not watched that video, there are so many hidden gems at the Dollar Tree. Definitely one to check out. I was shocked. I love my eyes like this. I don't know why I deviate so much, like trying to show different colors on the lid and whatnot. We're just gonna continue the theme and have a moment with this Cleo Air Blur Whip Blush. Haven't tried this one yet. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk Glow. Why I bought this, I don't know. Something is wrong with me. Uh, I already have so many highlighters and that is another self-improvement goal of mine that I want to get done before the new year is to like go through my collection because oh my gosh, it's like, it is a monster in here that just needs to be dealt with. Okay, we're gonna go in with a fan brush and just do all this, all of this. Love it so much. Wow. I mean, that is showing up maybe a little bit too much on the nose, um, but in like a really beautiful way, I like it. Lashes are already curled. I'm gonna go in with this Beyond Mascara from City Lash. I want their lip plumpers now, even though I've had them in the past and I literally cannot remember if I even, tr I feel like I loved them. But you know when you've used something and then it kind of was like, I don't know what this brand is and then you see commercials for it and you get like sucked right in. They have a lip product that sometimes when I'm working out, it's the commercial and I'm just like, dang, I need this in my life. I really like some of their products so much. I don't know why I haven't thought to order more. This mascara is so gorgeous. Oddly, this has turned into one of my favorite makeup days. I don't even know how or why or what is going on, but I'm really feeling good and comfortable in my own skin and not like I'm wearing too much, but not like I'm wearing too little. It's just like one of those days. Love that mascara. I don't even think I'm gonna put lashes on. I'm like, screw it. Like I don't even need to. All right, what am I missing? A good dose of setting spray. I picked up another one of these. I do so, so love this. This is the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Alcohol-Free Setting Spray. Love my all-nighter, but I was feeling like the alcohol in it was like drying me out. You do have to be careful about that, especially if you have skin that dehydrates quickly. I'm trying my best to pay attention to all things that are going on with my skin because I just hit a curve where nothing was like hydrating my face. And it's not like overly dry where it's like, here's what you do, put a ton of oil on it. It's like, no, that's not helping the issue. So I think it's a lot of internal and then external things as far as like what I'm using. So I'm trying to lay off the heaviness, perfumes and alcohols and all of that. And like, it's unavoidable to some degree, but to just be kind of mindful, you know? All right. Feeling so good. Do you guys remember this sweater? I've worn this on my channel so many times. I will not part with it. I got this off of Revolve, House of Harlow. I've had it forever. And I am that girl that gets very attached to cozy cardigans. It's almost sentimental in a way. I'm like, I just wanna bundle up in them and it's part of my style and I love it. I'm sure they have newer, more fabulous ones available now. This one definitely is not available anymore, but this is like a duster that is just so soft and so comfy. 
Uh, all right. I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Make sure that you sign up for that Halo announcement for Black Friday. Email will go out on Wednesday and you will be getting another video from me on Wednesday as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I love you all so, so much. Go and have a good one and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.